there will be times where every opportunity is a door waiting to be opened, right? So you have to recognize opportunities first of all. Everything is not the right opportunity. You have to recognize the potential of an opportunity. So if something like, for example, um, I went to America and started my career there at 32. It was a time when I was told that, you know, girls can't, I mean, your shelf life should be over by then. Forget starting a career from the complete beginning. When I joined films at 19, I was told that, you know, just do everything quickly because shelf life usually is just about, you know, 10, 12 years if you're lucky. And so I did like five films a year and I was like doing everything that I could, slowly realizing that, you know, I define my time and I choose who I want to be. So recognizing that was very important that I don't want to do five films a year, I want to do quality films. I recognized that and I started doing when we did fashion, when we did Aethras, when I did Barfi. I chose films to me that pushed my envelope yeah. as an actor. So I didn't let what an audience wanted to see or what the industry needed me to do define the choice that I made. I chose what made me grow as an artist. And do you think midlife you, you'll ever change those choices? Do you think do you think you can reinvent yourself? Is that something that's, all the time? Yeah, reinvention is reinvention is longevity. Yeah, if you can't evolve, then you're going to be stuck. Actually, in time that's and an interesting one. But that is an interesting one because totally. if you're if you're building longevity, yeah. you need to reinvent yourself you have constantly, to. and you have to constantly check yourself. Do I know enough? There is no time in your life where you know everything. No one can know everything, not even you, after all your achievements, nobody. So you have to always be a student of life. Ki, I'm at this new place, what can I learn? What is the new thing that I can, what's the new skill set that I can learn? What is, um, like working for example, this is my first Hindi film that I've co-produced. I've learned so much from Sid and Ronnie, who I've done about six films with. Um, because I think they're the best in the business. And the reason I called them up and I said I wanted to do this was because I wanted to learn. I've been in the business now, next year is going to be 20 years for me. But that doesn't mean that I am not willing to learn, you know. I understand that there's a certain amount that I know and there's a lot more that I don't. So I feel like that kind of evolution is really important. When I decided to go into business and tech, I didn't know anything about it. So I learned from a lot from my venture capitalist manage, manager. So I learned from her, I listened to her, I understood what are the words, what, what, what happens when you want to, you know, raise a fund and how, how does it function. I still don't know enough about it, but yeah. asking the questions is very important. It's really important to not think that people will think you're stupid. Like a lot of people get afraid to ask questions because they're like, oh, lagna chahiye that I know my job. But trust me, it is ve it's so, even people who work for me, like my team, whenever I have new members, I always tell them, instead of making a mistake, ask me. If you don't know, just ask me. It's so much better to learn than to eventually end up making a mistake and then you look stupider.